profit is, because we still get profits in churches today. But when we think of profits, we often think of men, particularly not just men, who were in the Old Testament of the Bible. So think about what a prophet might be. Well, I've got a definition here that a prophet is a, a person chosen by God to speak for God. Their job is to tell his message, and sometimes it can be an uncomfortable message for people to hear, especially if they are a long way from God, and perhaps a prophet has to call them to obey. But Isaiah, you know, was a very important prophet in the big story of the Bible. He looked forward to the kingdom of God. I wonder what you think the kingdom of God might look like. And I wonder if you were to use a picture to paint the kingdom of God or to draw it, what it might look like. We'll come back to that in a minute. Well, you're now going to see a clip about our Bible reading today that does use a really wonderful picture, I think, to help us um, understand what the kingdom of God might look like and also to talk about the one who would bring in this kingdom and lead it. So let's watch this clip now. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that clip of Isaiah chapter 11, verses one to 11. And I want to explain a little bit about the stump of Jesse that it mentions. I'm going to grab my Bible here. A stump or a tree stump is a bit of the trunk of the tree that's been left on the ground. And Jesse was the father of King David. So this passage is talking about a shoot that might grow out from the stump, if you like, the tree shoot of the family line of Jesse. It's referring to someone who is actually descended from King David himself. And if we look at the beginning of the Gospel of Matthew in the New Testament, we can see that Jesus was descended from King David himself, from his father, Jesse. And that tree stump is what you're going to put on your Jesse tree today. So let's think particularly about this picture of the kingdom of God that Isaiah talked about. And to help you remember the passage and the clip, I found a picture on the internet here, which I'm going to hold up to you. Can you see there? The lion lying down with the lamb and the wolf. And there are other creatures there, the bear cub. But I wonder well, who you think might be in the middle holding a shepherd's crook. That is the child who will lead them. What do you think about when you see a picture like that? If it's describing the kingdom of God, do you think that's a, a nice place to live? I wonder if you were to draw a picture of the kingdom of God, would it look like this or something different? It would be wonderful if you could draw something for a display in school. I think it's a picture that shows a great deal of peace because you wouldn't normally get a lion and a lamb lying down together, would you? But it shows a great picture of peace and security and safety, all good things. And as the passage says, a little child will lead them. So you might like to think about a picture that you could draw. It might look a bit different, but what would be the kingdom of God like if it's to show peace 
in our world today. Perhaps you can think of another way of showing peace that doesn't necessarily show animals lying together. But I leave that one with you and your teachers. So let's come now to pray. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you that you came to bring in the kingdom of God, a kingdom where the lion might lie down with the lamb and the bear cub and the wolf and bring safety and peace to our world. You bring so much more into your world and we pray now for our world, for our school and for our family and all the people we know and love. Will your kingdom come into their world, please, and our world, that there might be peace, even with the virus all around us? Keep us safe. Keep us, Lord, in your kingdom, where there is peace and safety. And so let's finish by praying the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer, which ends, Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on heaven and on earth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. 